Hey G-Squad, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this delicious chicken pasta dish. It has uh, vegetables, chicken, and some tricolor noodles and when I tell you the flavors, mwah, tastes so good and the colors, beautiful colors of the rainbow. So if you would like to see how I made this dish, then keep watching. Okay, you beautiful people. So, this is everything we're using to make this dish. Uh, in this bowl, this is some um, chicken strips uh, that I had from yesterday, day before yesterday that I seasoned. And I'm going to be cooking this. And what I seasoned it with was I have it marinating in some some of this leftover sesame ginger marinade. And then I seasoned it with this uh, kicking chicken it's a kicking chicken finger licking seasoning so I just use these two things like I said and it's been marinating for two days and then the oil that I use I actually use two different types of oil I started, started off with the avocado oil then I ran out of that it had a small amount and then I just add some of this in there yes I will mix and match something in a minute so um, then as far as the vegetables I'm going to be using some organic mixed vegetable it could just be any type of frozen vegetable I just happen to have organic um, and then I have some spinach left over I don't want that to go bad so I'm going to be adding that to this dish as well as some broccoli I've already uh, washed my broccoli and cut it up like in you know little, little florets and then the uh, pasta I'm going to be using, I'm going to have this um, tricolor uh, penne pasta that I have left over. It's like about a little less than half the box. And I have some uh, garlic, um, minced garlic that I'm going to add, okay? So now, over here on the stove I already have a few pots going over here. And so this pot already, I have uh, about a quarter cup of the oil in here and it's heating up. Then in these two pots over here, one is for my broccoli and then the other one is going to be for my pasta. And at this time, I'm going to actually add, which I didn't have on the counter, I'm going to season both uh, pots with some salt. <clears throat> And then for this pot that's going to contain the um, the pasta, I'm going to also add, excuse my reach fam, I'm going to add some oil to this. And now I'm going to get my pasta started. And whatever type of pasta you're going to be using, you cook it as per the directions on the box, okay? So I'm just going to add this to the water. And then I'm going to give it a nice little stir. And then just going to allow that to do its thing. So now to my pan right here that I have going, I'm going to add some of this minced garlic, maybe like a tablespoon. Add as much as you want or you don't have to add it at all. Okay, so season your food to your own taste. And let me get my wooden spoon so I will scrape up my non-stick pan any further than I've already done. Yeah, I'll just use this. Okay, so I'm going to lower the heat on this some. So now, I'm going to start adding my, my chicken strips. And this is a um, total of two chicken breasts that I cut up in strips. And if you'd like to see how I season the uh, chicken and cut it up, I have, a I have a video that I will attach to this one on a burrito bowl, chicken, sesame chicken burrito bowl. And I use the exact same season, so I'll connect that to this video. I'm going to save this uh, marinade towards the end just in case I need it. So now, I'm just going to allow these to brown on one side and I'm going to flip it over which should take about uh, three minutes I'm going to have my heat on have my heat on medium to high
All right, fam, I'll check back in with you shortly. Okay, so it's been like three minutes, so now I'm going in and I'm turning my meat. And you just want to cook your meat enough right now to just so it can brown on each side, and then you're going to remove it. And cook the rest of your... Um, your ingredients for this dish and then we're going to add it back in later on because we don't want it to overcook and have it dry. Okay, so now and so I have that all turned over so I'll check back in when I'm ready to remove this in a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to Go in and take our chicken out. Okay, so now to the same pan. So lower my heat some and now add some of these frozen vegetables. Just mix that around all in the same grease juice seasoning that we just took our chicken out. So I'm going to allow that to cook for a few. I'm going to put my lid over this. So now we check on our pasta, see what our pasta is doing over here. Now, this pot back here for my broccoli, I want that to come to a rapid boil. Then I'm going to add the broccoli to the pot and allow that to cook for about two minutes, maybe three minutes. Then I'm going to take that out, immediately put it in a bucket of, a, you know, a bowl of ice water. And that's what you call the blanching process, which means to stop it from cooking because I don't want my broccoli to be soft, soggy. I want it to still have like some firmness to it, okay? But you will see what I mean as we're going along. So right now I'm just checking my pasta. See if this is done. Okay, so I'm going to give that like another two minutes and then that'll be ready and then I'll pop back in and we'll continue on. Okay family, so our water is ready for the broccoli so I'm just going to add this in and then just make sure you keep your eye on uh, for two minutes. And then also the uh, pasta is done so I'm going to go ahead and drain this now, remove it from the stove. And... In here, I have the cold water, and as you can see, I add an ice cube. Oops, I had an ice cube in there to make sure the water is really cold, so I'm going to add my broccoli to this when it's done. But it's finished in two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes, so now I'm removing my broccoli and adding it to this bowl of cold of ice water. And this is, like I said, this is going to stop the cooking. This is what our broccoli looks like. Okay, and this is our pasta. Okay, so now we're going to put everything together. Oops. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to combine all our ingredients. Okay, so add the chicken back to the skillet. You see how pretty that is? Can you see that? Let me pan this closer. Okay. Yeah, this is how it 
looking. Mix that all around. Okay. Now I'm going to also drop in my spinach. Stir. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Can you see that? I'm going to add my broccoli. Mm -hmm. How beautiful that is. All those pretty colors. I'm going to lower the heat. heat up a little. That's so like a medium to low high. Stir it in really good. All right so now I'm gonna cut place the lid on this and let this go for about two more minutes and then um, we'll be done. family so now I'm going to add my pasta to this now you can keep your pasta separate and then just add it on top of it or you can mix it in like this it's up to you a little give this a stir and family that's it so this is officially became a one pan meal have your chicken, your pasta, and all your vegetables. Okay, with a nice sauce. Okay, there you have it. So I'm going to plate this and then come back and we'll wrap this video up. All right, G-Squad, so there you have it. Our chicken vegetable pasta dish. Okay, it tastes really, really good, but I will um, do a taste, you know, on the camera for you guys. But anyway, yeah, this is how it came out. Uh, so let me uh, taste it for you on camera. Okay, y'all. So I blessed my food off the camera already, so let's get right into it. So, again, this is how my plate is looking. See that? So... Let's try to grab a little bit of everything. Some spinach, get some chicken in here. 
Well, I'll come back for the broccoli. I'm going to shove my mouth, so here we go. chicken you put the plate down I don't know if it's the kicking sauce the marinating for two days the combination of all the spices the season I don't know what but that chicken it's so tender. It's so juicy. I mean, every chew is like a burst of the seasoning. Oh my God, it's so, so good. And I haven't even gotten to the broccoli yet. So, mmm, yep. Still has that firmness to it. It's tender but firm. Girl, mm mm mm. Family, all right. Just one more. One for the road. Mmm. So good. So, so good. Mmm. 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 Okay. G Squad, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I so appreciate it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And as always, please show your girls some love. If you're a frequent visitor here, just subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? And uh, on that note, y'all take care. I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Make sure y'all turn on those post notifications, which is that bell that's hanging there. I told you about. You're going to see like an arrow. Click that arrow, drop down menu, and you see that bell? Click the bell that says all. So when I upload a video, you know y'all won't miss out, okay? I love you guys. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.